welcome to the Trademo Live Show with Matthias and Sebastian. Yeah, hello to our welcome to our late night show. <laughs> yeah, it's a late night show today for, for us here in Europe. Um, today with the topic Crypto Get On. Yeah, China crypto. has forbidden ICOs. They're not prohibited in China. And all the money that Chinese people have invested in ICOs has to be given back. That will be millions of dollars. And ICOs, is it similar to IPOs? Yeah, it's basically an IPO for cryptocurrencies, you could say. So whenever I want to launch some, some new cryptocurrency or let's say Trademo coins, mm -hmm. I would have to do it. That's basically an ICO and I would do it on the basis of the Ethereum blockchain, which is why that one has been suffering so tough. So we're down from close to 400 down to 300 right now. And um, it's, been, it's been dragging down the whole crypto market. Um, so we are, um, Bitcoin was close to 5,000, now at 4,300. Litecoin had been almost touching the $100 on Friday, and we're now at 67. So that's uh, overall the crypto market had been um, valued at $100 billion and is, or close oh. to, and is now down to 75. And I think this is just the beginning. Um, because usually moves in the crypto market, they they move for a longer time. So you have usually um, the, 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 the miners, they usually don't sell the cryptocurrencies while they are mining them if the prices are going up. Because, you know, if I'm creating Ether and Bitcoin and Litecoin all the time and uh, then uh, the price is going up, then why not sell it next month? You know? mm -hmm. But once it has stopped going up, they have to, not only do they immediately sell everything that they produce while mining, but they also sell some of the, the some of the stock, you could say, that they, mm -hmm. that they have, of the stockpiles that they have lying around. And so now we have massively more supply than demand for cryptocurrencies. And we are seeing at least a correction right now, but uh, who knows how far this will go down. As you know, I'm not the uh, expert in cryptocurrencies, but is there any chance to, to bet on foreign prices and to go short on cryptocurrencies? Yeah, if you go to learn.tradimo.com slash start trading, um, there we have a bunch of brokers here um, that offer this. Um, I, I remember, Etoro, for example. Etoro, yeah. for example, but also Exante, markets.com, um, and we have extra offers. You get like Tradimo premium services for much less than standard prices if you open your account through us and sometimes you also get an extra benefit or cheaper trading mm -hmm. prices at the, at the brokers themselves or at the cryptocurrency exchanges you get some starting um, you get like ten dollars extra in Bitcoin or so if you if you sign up through us mm -hmm. so that's what we have here and yeah well it's been dramatic and there's another dramatic news today or yesterday to be exactly a, a bomb hits the earth again from North Korea. Um, um, I don't know the, the word for English. It's German Wasserstoffbomb, <laughs> but you can tell it's, me more. It's about hydrogen it. bomb or H bomb. Um, so it's been, it's basically when you, when you use hydrogen to, like when you have a really big nuclear bomb, then the problem mm -hmm. is that all the individual parts of the like the chain reaction will take too long for it to all explode at the same time. So mm -hmm. your plutonium or uranium, whatever you use, it's not going to explode at the same time. So you need a bomb to trigger the rest of the bomb. And for that, you use the hydrogen. Yeah, and, um, it's cool. That's why it's called an H-bomb. And yeah, and that's why we've seen an explosion in gold price. And that's why Matthias here is rich. No, <laughs> almost rich, yeah, but it, it was not so bad, but yeah, of course, uh, we, we he's, he's, trade he's idea. right now, guys, he's just humble. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, of course, yeah, I'm humble too, but yeah, uh, we mentioned the, the trade idea of gold going long uh, a few weeks, a few days ago, I think it was maybe two weeks ago, um, because gold broke a very important resistance level, it was the 1300 level, and now we are at... 1340, so $50 above the, yeah, the resistance level, which becomes now, of course, a support level. And yeah. I'm very exciting uh, to see the development tomorrow because today the US market is closed. 
and yeah very very excited and uh, and it's, it's gonna be interesting yeah, it's i don't expect the stock markets to be able to continue their recent rally i think we'll see some kind of smaller correction but i don't think that it's going to be a panic sell maybe maximum one percent is what i what i estimate um, but I'm a bit curious how the some of the stocks that have been going up also because of the cryptocurrency boom, like Nvidia and AMD, uh, if mm. they might also see a small correction because of what we've been seeing in crypto, um, or if also some of the crypto people might go back into gold. So maybe gold to double benefits. <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> would be nice for you. But uh, in any case. Um, yeah, take a look at the brokers that we have here and the benefits in terms of trading or premium that you can get. Um, you would have known about this breakout here at 1300 through our premium newsletter. And um, well, right now I can say I have sold my Ether and Bitcoin, but um, yeah, I might buy it again once after this correction. Um, but I first want to see the bottom here. That's a good approach, I think. <laughs> well, with that, I think have a nice remaining day or night depending on where you are and we see you soon yeah we see you soon bye, bye.